Good morning, or depending on you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio. So today, I've got some lovely new character rares to show you. These are, of course, coming in V Max Climax, the upcoming Japanese set, which is really not far away at this stage. It's coming out next Friday, which means we should have a full set list on this Friday, although we won't know all the character rares at that stage. What is interesting, and I did do a video about this the other day, it will be linked in the description, is that actually, it looks like there are 70 character rares in VMAX Climax, and we have actual proper confirmation that there will be 30 character rares in Brilliant Stars. I have no idea how this is actually going to be reconciled, but there was a video the other day where I did a whole bunch of chatting about that. So you can go and check that one out in the description if you so wish. But we've got some new character rares to talk about today, and honestly, one of them is a little more interesting than the others, which is ironic because the other two are way more playable. We've got Kingdra, and this Kingdra is fine. It's not a bad Kingdra. It's not a bad card, it's not an uninteresting card, it's a cool card. This is a reprint of the Kingdra which came around really not that long ago in Battle Styles, where the ability says that when your active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, you may move any amount of water energy from that Pokemon to this. And then the attack for a minimum of one water energy does 40 damage for each water energy attached to this Pokemon which is lovely. It seems kind of cool, but it's a stage two and it's a little bit awkward and all of that. What is interesting, however, is that this is a card featuring Claire. Now, Claire is a character who has been around in the Pokemon lore since Gen 2. She is the gym leader of Blackthorn City Gym, and she is a Dragon-type trainer. Actually, the cousin of Lance, as it happens. And Claire has never had an English language card. Never. There has never been an English language card featuring Claire. Now, weirdly enough, in Japan, there actually has. In Japan, they had the Pokemon VS series, which was released in July 2001. Yes, that is over 20 years ago. And in the VS series, there was actually a bunch of Claire cards. Nine. Nine cards! We never had a single Claire card. Over in Japan, they had nine. Now, we're not going to go through all of these in great detail for pretty obvious reasons, but just because I find it very, very interesting, we had Claire's Blastoise. We had Claire's Jinx. We had Claire's Gyarados. We had Claire's Dragonite. Interesting, because it's the only non-water Pokemon she had. Yes, I am fully aware that Claire is supposed to be a Dragon-type trainer. Some of these are Dragon Pokemon, not all of them. We had Claire's Politoed, and I adore the artwork on that one. We had Claire's Mantine, and obviously we had Claire's Kingdra. If we were getting the character art of Claire on Kingdra, and Claire had had a bunch of Pokemon before, and one of them hadn't been Kingdra, that would have been weird, ladies and gentlemen. That would have been very, very weird indeed. So, Claire had a bunch of cards. Now, there were a couple of others that Claire had, and they were Claire's TM-01 and Claire's TM-02. Although, rather upsettingly, Claire's TM-02 never actually had Claire on it. So, it's honestly a little bit of a waste at this stage. The images, I should say, come from Bulbapedia, who are awesome. So, yeah. Little bit weird, quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen little bit weird. One thing that is actually extremely cool is that Claire's TM01 is Dragon Breath, and Dragon Breath is the TM that Claire gives out in Gen 2. How cool is that? I think it's extremely cool. My point is, Claire actually in the VS series had a whole bunch of love, but she got a whole bunch of love in Japan. She did not get any love whatsoever outside of Japan. And actually, as one last quick little side note, one thing I love about the VS series that they did, a particular trainer would have all of their Pokemon art done by the same person. So Shinichi Yoshida did all of the artwork on all of these Claire's Pokemon. 
Big Mama Tagawa did the ETMs, but the actual Pokemon were all done by Shinichi Yoshida, which I find extremely cool. And that was 20 years ago. 20 years ago, Claire got a bunch of cards in the VS series in Japan. Nothing outside of Japan at all. And now just pops up on one of these character rares in VMAX Climax. It's honestly a little bit weird, if I'm honest with you. And I absolutely love it. It's really, really cool. So this is actually not a terribly playable card. Although I still contend it has a huge amount of potential and is extremely cool. But I absolutely adore the fact that we are finally getting a Claire card in the TCG. And fine, it's just an alternate art of an existing card and it just happens to feature Claire. But for a character that we've had since Gen 2, who appeared on a bunch of Japanese cards 20 years ago but never made a way onto an English card, I find this extremely cool. But there are a couple of other character rares coming in as well. And quite frankly, some of these pairs don't make a huge amount of sense. Yes, I am still going back to Gardevoir with Doctor. Why? We all know Gardevoir should be Wally. That should not be a controversial statement at this stage. But both of these are absolutely perfect, including Frostmoth with Melanie. And how could Frostmoth be with anyone other than Melanie? This makes so much sense. And what we've got here is the Frostmoth that came around in Sword and Shield. The really, 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 really good one that lets you attach as much water energy from your hand as you like during your turn. It's a phenomenal card that sees a whole bunch of play because it's a phenomenal card. And I know that not every water deck really necessarily uses this. I mean, the funny thing is, one of the best alternatives in terms of water energy acceleration is Melanie herself. Because, of course, Melanie's that brilliant card that lets you attach a water energy from your discard to one of your bench Pokemon V. Doesn't have to be a water Pokemon, does have to be a Pokemon V. So I very much appreciate that Melanie is the choice here. Melanie was the only choice for this particular card. But also, right, check out how amazing this card is. This card is absolutely wonderful. Now, of course, it is kind of interesting that we have had a gold version of Frostmoth previously. So now you've got a little bit of a choice. Do you go for the character rare or do you go for the gold? And of course, the obvious answer and I do think this is a fairly obvious answer, is you go for the character rare. The character rare is just too gosh darn beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. It's too gosh darn beautiful. So that would be my personal choice, but if you'd rather have the gold, well, great news, that one totally exists as well. So it's a card that's gotten a whole bunch of love, and I suppose I should point out here, it's also a card that was a pre-release promo for Sword and Shield. So basically... You've actually got a whole bunch of options here, whether you go for the pre-release promo, the gold, the character rare, the regular one. Either way, Frostmoth is a great card that sees a bunch of play, and I, for one, am personally delighted we're getting it here, and it had to be Melanie. It had to be Melanie. And similarly, if we are talking about bringing in a Bronzong, it had to be Jasmine. Look, it had to be Jasmine. There was no real other choice other than Jasmine to bring this one in. And I really don't think that's a controversial statement. What we've got here is the Bronzong that came around in Battle Styles. The one which lets you move your energy around the field as long as it's metal energy. And then obviously combos brilliantly with stuff like Cheryl. Because Cheryl then lets you heal completely as long as you're willing to discard all the energy. But Bronzong makes sure that you don't actually have any energy on there. So you're not actually giving anything up to do it. And that is clearly a wonderful, wonderful thing. So yeah, I really like this Bronzong. And like I said a moment ago, it had to be Jasmine. Jasmine is the leader of Olivine City Gym. Starting in Gen 2. And obviously she is a Steel type trainer. Steel in the video game, Metal in the TCG. And okay, fine, back in Gen 2, she didn't necessarily actually have a Bronzong? She had two Magnemite and a Steelix, but that's not the point. Of course, speaking of Steelix, let's not forget that when we last had character rares, which was back in Cosmic Eclipse, Jasmine actually got one of those as well. 
Jasmine went and got herself Steelix there. So I kind of love that we've got a returning character. And I'm just double checking here and making sure I'm not stating this erroneously. But I'm fairly sure that as it stands at the moment, this is the only character that had a character rare in Cosmic Eclipse that has now come back and had one in VMAX Climax slash Brilliant Stars. And actually, while we're here, just before I forget, it's worth mentioning this Bronzong was both a pre-release promo and had a gold print as well. So I don't know, maybe some kind of theme going on here. I love this. I mean, this is a really cool card and I like Bronzong. And I think giving Jasmine the card as the metal type trainer makes absolute perfect sense to me. Frankly, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a fan of all of these. And I know that it is not realistic in any way, shape or form for me to actually get all 70 of these character rares. Assuming there are 70 again, I've done the video, go check it in the description. But man, I want them, ladies and gentlemen. I want them so bad because they are all awesome. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think. I want to know which of these you are big fans of. I want to know which of these cards you want to be picking up. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching... PTCG Radio.